guys it's rosalyn back at you one more again i hope you are doing good today on this lovely tuesday terrific tuesday actually if this is your first time coming to my channel welcome love and light and namaste to you if you are returning sub love and light and namaste to you and thank you for your support on both ends I don't know why every time I start making a video, my nose just start itching. They always say, usually when, when your nose itches like that, you're going to have a visitor. So I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I hope everybody's doing good and staying blessed. Um, I'm doing good. Uh, I had a kind of rocky couple of days. Um, so that's the reason why I haven't made a video. Today's uh, Twin Flame 101 is about don't cope deal and let go that's what my video is about today um i've been going through a lot of stuff you guys i've really been going through a lot of stuff i don't know if it's just because of the, sh the shift in the universe and stuff like that because i've been getting so emotional and there's just times i'll sit up here and cry I'm like why am i crying i don't understand why i'm crying and then i'll just find myself really missing my dad and it's like I know these feelings keep coming up and I'm just like, I thought I was done with this. I'm so tired of dealing with this. Just like I'm tired of talking about it. But it's like, like I told you guys in different videos before, um, when you're going through things and it really gets to you and it is just, we all have experienced different trauma, pains, anguish, whatever, that sometimes have hinder us, hindered us to do the things that we need to do to step forward in life sometimes they it stops us because we put ourselves in this psychological box like we cannot get up out of it and it's like there's times i can be okay and then there's times i can just sit up here and look at my dad's picture like is this really happening did my family really do this to me and i'll start crying like why did my family do this to me? Why would you ever do something like this to me? And it's crazy because I had dreams like this back when I was real young. And there would be times I would be mad at my adopted dad. And he's just like, why are you copping the attitude with me? Why are you mad at me? And I would never know why. But it was like I told him I had a dream that you really hurt me really bad. And I wasn't able to forgive you for it. And he just looked at me crazy, like, what are you talking about? I said, I don't know, but, you know, in my dream, I just found myself in the middle of a corner, just crying. And it was so much that I had to deal with, like, I'm really having to face my fear. It's just like, when I was watching, um, it was a clip about the movie it like i was telling you guys before um if you had guys haven't watched it it's a pretty good movie um it, it's not nothing like uh the comparison of the the old one from back in the 80s and stuff like that it had its own little set you know this own little thing just like you know it had its own you know the first one had its own little thing and it was like I, a lot of movies that i've noticed that i'm watching it it can have a hidden message in it. Like, um, all of a sudden, Meet the Browns popped up in my head the other day with Angela Bassett and um, David Mann and Tamla Mann and all these different great actors and stuff like that. And it was just like, wow, I'm going through the same thing she was doing. Going, you know, you're not living really good, but you're, you know, you're trying to make everything work and, you know, uh, living every day day by day and it's just like you feel like things are not getting better even though you know things are getting better you get the little signs and stuff like that but it's just like when is it my turn to actually really be happy like I want to be happy and it's just like you cannot be happy until you deal with what you're going through accept it for what it is and let go because it's just like if you cannot there's nothing that you can absolutely change anything about your past because it's like we really can't change our past but if it's the only thing we can change right now <clears throat> and i know i must be talking the truth because my throat just started messing up on me only thing we can do is by you know what we have really got messed up about from whatever we went through in our past there's nothing really we can change about it now because it's just the past on what it is and it's nothing we can change there's nothing we can change about other people it's the only thing we can change is for ourselves 
And I had to really learn that. And it's really sinking into me like, you know what? Your family really did do this to you. But secrets don't stay secret too long. Especially something like this. It doesn't. So I know things are going to be okay. And I, I felt myself being angry. You know, and it, and it comes up every now and then because it's like things from my past. They'll come back and it'll mess with me a little bit. And I'm just like, you know what? I don't, I don't want to think about this anymore because I was coping with it. And I don't want to cope with anything anymore. I have to deal with this and let it go. If, you know, because I'm a strong person. It's just a lot of people that have talked to me, that know me for years, and then they start knowing the truth. And it's just like, Rosalind, we've known you for years. And you never told us this. You know, you never really, you know, said anything about this. You know, you just told us you were adopted and everything like that. But that was pretty much it. And I was just like, if the way some people act, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't tell them back then. Because it would have been probably crazy. But um, it was just certain things that I know that I went through in my childhood was very traumatizing. And, and you're trying to understand why, you know... I, I would have been more comfortable if somebody out on the street would have did something like that to me, but it was my family. And that it, it, it really made me look at people different. Like, if your family can do this to you, you can just about imagine what anybody else can do to you. But it was just the fact of me loving myself more, knowing myself more, knowing what I'm capable of striving for. They, put, they had me to where I was put in a little box to where I couldn't... I didn't think I could go any further. I didn't think my mind could go any further. They had programmed me to think, make me think that way. And then what I noticed when I broke that chain away from them, I had to. And it was just like, I love my family to death, but this is what you've done to me. And it's even after everything's said and done and the truth comes out, it's like, can I really trust you again? No. But can I forgive you and let this go? Yeah, it might be hard, but I know I'm going to get through this. I, I've been getting through it, and it's just like I have my moments to where I, I feel like I'm weak, and I'm just like, God, I'm tired. I'm tired of fighting this battle. You know, these things are getting too hard. You know, I, I'm trying to find out other things to get all my stuff together, and it's just like, you know what? Go with the flow. You've done what you needed to do. You've done what you needed to do, but you can go ahead and take this rest for a minute, but then you got to keep going. You can't give up. You have a mission to do. We all have a mission to do, but we, we cannot continue to keep living the way we used to live. It, it's just like, this is the year for us to all take the mask off. It's just, if you haven't noticed throughout all the news medias, it's just like things are starting to come to surface about different people and different things that we, we probably didn't even pay attention to or look for. But I know with me, I had, I have to keep telling myself, even though I thought I was over it, I guess it's just the Kundalini and the Ascension and stuff like that. I started getting these chills. I've been having hot flashes back and forth last night, throat chakra acting up and all that. So it's just, I know for me to be that better, best version of myself, the greatest version of myself, I have to completely break that chain, break that power away from them. Because even though I don't deal with them and I very, I try not to really talk about them that much, it, it's just like they have that little piece of me that just bothers me because the fact is I'm like, I never got a chance to actually have any kind of communication with my dad. You guys separated that. And now it, it's just like now, <clears throat> and now I'm going through a lot of, you know, stress over it. And it's just, it's crazy, but I know everything is going to be okay. I've been getting signs left and right that, you know, you're on the right path. You're doing what you need to do to stay positive. Keep on doing your videos. Keep your light work going, and everything will be okay. Just go with the flow. So it's just like when you start seeing those signs when you're on your path, just keep moving. I know you might be tired. I know you might cry. Go ahead, cry, kick, scream, punch a pillow if you need to. But you have to always remember, we can never change the past. We can never change other people, other people's views of us, other people's opinions of us. We can just show what's inside of us and the right people will attract. But I'm not trying to keep you guys up and about.
So I will talk to you later. Much love and light. Please like and subscribe. I forgot to tell you guys that. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification button. Drop a comment if you please. Even share my videos. I would love for that. Uh, love for that to happen. Um, it's, I love to share anything that is like positive to more people. It's just the more people we can connect with, it's just the better. And I will talk to you guys later. I was listening to, uh, what is it, 8 Hour Healing Sleep. Uh, regenerate your cells. Angelic songs. And I will talk to you later. Much love and light. Blessings to you. Peace. Be wild.